Hello. Sometimes yoga poses don't always open up, at least if you're really tight and unflexible. They don't open up all of the rotators and all the connecting muscles that we need to feel relief and feel mobility in our hips. So today we're going to do some mobility practices based on yoga poses, but more for movement and loosening things up. So let's start on our knees and we're just going to step one foot forward at a time into a lunge. Step forward and place it back. Step forward, alternating feet as you can see that I did there. Step forward and place it back. Step forward and place it back. Warming up this whole front of the hips, psoas, a little bit in the inner thigh and groin. You can go slower than me. If you're following along, don't feel like you have to keep at my pace. We're gonna do one more time on each side. Nice job, good. Now, let's move on to our side. So we're gonna sit down on one hip and place our elbow on the floor. This other hip, this is the one that's gonna move. Just start doing circles with that hip. This feels really great in the rotators. Um, the hip is a ball in a socket, so we're moving that all around. I can feel it in my glute too. Let's change the directions. Feels nice. Shift it around. Good. Good. Beautiful movement for movement's sake. Now lift up and let's pull. I've got this left leg in front here and this right leg in back. Seated pretty stable between each side. Take your left hand behind you and press up. You can reach your arm if you want. This is gonna stretch the psoas and the hip flexor, well it's the same thing, right in the back, and lower it down. In the front, I mean. Now the back, we get press in that low back in between the hips, that's called the sacrum. Let's do this three more times. Inhale, lift, front of the body stretches, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, back body squeezes, exhale, lower, one more time. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Nicely done. Now flip hips and let's do the same thing on the other side, starting with this side lying hip movement. Got the leg, let's go. Move it all around. Circle it up, go both directions, all around. There's no right or wrong, it's just movement for movement's sake loosening, but also warming. You can feel how that warms the hip area there. Good. Good, nicely done. Now let's come up and pull our legs in that uh, shape, that crisscross shape. We've got the right leg in front this time, right hand behind, press and open, inhale forward. We can feel that psoas hip flexor, exhale, come down. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, lower it down. Good, inhale, lift it up, exhale, lower it down, two more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. Last one. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. Nicely done. Let's get up onto our feet. Now we've warmed a lot through our hips. We'll just continue the warming sensation. Take it nice and wide with your toes pointed out hands to the hips for a little bit of stability, and just move from side to side. Good. 
So this is worming those internal rotators there. Shouldn't put any strain on the knee. If you find that bending too far strains the knee, just don't go quite as far. So you might look more like this. Yeah, that way I'm keeping my knee and ankle aligned. So listen to your body. Do what you can do. Again, I tend to move a little fast, perhaps. Feel free to slow it down. <laughs> I come from a dancer background and I just like to move, I guess. Good. Good, now let's change it just a tiny bit. Turn our toes inward. And as we lunge, it's gonna change the direction of the, um, of the stimulation. So you might feel this in a different spot, more like through the outer hips, more a little bit more into the groin maybe. My knees crack less <laughs> when I do it this way. That's another dancer foible, cracking knees. Good, keep going. Let's just do two more. I don't even know what side I started on because I just started moving. Good. Good. All right, one more. Turn our toes back out again and maybe walk the heels in just a little bit. We're going to just be like an Egyptian. Roll it in and out. In and out. Get it working together. Yes. Feel that motion all through the psoas. The psoas works to be our stabilizer as we try to balance and as we step forward on our gait. You can even add arms in if you want. Make it a little bit of fun. <laughs> Loving our hips, feeling our hips. Good, good. One more time, each side. And there, I think I ended here. Yes. Nice job. Your hips should feel mobile, nice and warm. Hopefully it helps your gait, helps your balance, helps any pain that you might have. Thank you for joining me today.